Now is Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter. Sir, good to have you on. Thanks for being here. You've got a bill uh, called Build Better Borders. It's another 3B bill, except this one's Build Better Borders. Tell us about this. What are you, what are you trying here? Well, first of all, this is the real BBB, the Build Back Borders plan. And, and what it does, first of all, it stops immigration, illegal immigration, and that's what we want to do. Instead of this nonsense of paying these people $450,000, we instead will will levy civil penalties on them of $450,000. And those monies will go into a fund, and that fund will be used exclusively to build the wall. We know that walls work. And just ask the Israelis. They know that walls work. And we need a wall at our southern border to stop this, not only to stop the, the nonsense of, of, of these illegal immigrants coming across. Over one and a half million have come across in the Biden administration this year, but also the illegal drugs that are infesting our communities that are causing so many deaths, over 100,000 deaths already this year mm. in overdoses. And that is just something we've got to get our arms around, and we've got to stop this nonsense. You, you said you said you want to levy a penalty of 450,000 on on who? On on, on, on the, the individuals who come across here, who come across that border. They are I, the ones who they don't, pay the they, don't, they don't have 450 cents, I think most of them. Well, that's okay. They better know that they're they're going to be fine if they come across that border and hopefully that will stop them from coming across because they're not going to be sent back or put in jail. Do, do you think I mean I, I at what point do they do they ever correct this thing? I mean, do they do they learn maybe after the midterms? At what point does does this become real to them? I mean, this is one of a myriad of reasons why the approval of this administration is so low. But this is one of the biggest reasons. This was this was the first fatal flaw, and then many, many, many more came after. Well, you're exactly right. And do they get it? I don't really think they do. I mean, after all, Joe Biden has never been to the border as a senator, as a vice president, as a president. He's never been to the border. Kamala Harris, the, the border czar, she goes to El Paso, over 800 miles away from the epicenter where the problem really is. No, they don't get it. They don't understand what's happening here. And they don't want to get it because yeah. they, they're not interested in shutting down that border. What they're interested it's... in is, is socialism and creating a socialist country. We're looking less like America and more like a failed socialist country every day under this administration. It is something. You know, I mean, the, the biggest problem is that the people that create the, this issue, and, 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 and we can be honest and, and say that this is an issue that if, if Republicans had been on board 15, 20 years ago, we would have solved back then. Now it's flipped and Democrats don't want to do it. But this is a problem because the people that the people that make the rules about this, no matter what party they're in, are not affected by this. You know, People in government, people, politicians are not affected by the, the problems of a border. They're insulated from all of this. They live in places where illegal migrants don't typically end up, um, whether it be Washington, D.C. or their districts. Um, I, I just, you just don't see, I, I think, by and large, uh, some of them obviously live in the places that it happens, but y if you're not affected by it, what do you care? Well, and, and that's a good point. However, I would submit to you that we're all affected by it. First of all, every state has become a border state. We know that. They're sending these illegal immigrants to every state. But more importantly, all of our communities are infested by these drugs, by this fentanyl that's coming across. Yeah. Don't forget, enough fentanyl has been seized since the first of the year to kill every American three times over. I mean, this is a national. Why doesn't that? Why doesn't that story hit harder? Why? Why doesn't that? Why doesn't that cause any reaction? Why is it that that's so easy to ignore somehow politically? I, I don't well, understand that. I, it is hard to understand that, but it is. And, and, and listen, we just in the first four months of this year, enough fentanyl was seized at that border to kill every American four times over. Yeah. We have a serious drug problem and drug addiction problem here in this country. And unless we secure that border, we're never going to be able to resolve it. That's something else. You've got this new report showing the U.S. hit over 100,000 drug overdose deaths in the last year. And I just, I mean, I remember early in the pandemic when we hit 100,000 COVID deaths and everybody just gasped at the scope of COVID-19. We lost 100,000 people to drug, to drug overdoses. And I, I don't think that that, I don't think that registers at all uh, on the Richter scale in politics. And that's just, that just to me is just is staggering. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. And, and, and again, until we secure that border, until we build that wall and close this down, it's not going to stop. No, it's not.
Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter, sir, thank you so much for taking the time. Build better thank borders. You.